What if I tell you that there's a kid who might be better than 19-year-old Mbappe who won the 2018 FIFA World Cup or 15-year-old Lamine Yamal when he became FC Barcelona's youngest debutant or Gavi or Bellingham or Jamal Musiala or every other young football prodigy in world football right now? A kid who came from nothing, a kid who rose from the ashes, a kid so outstanding that he baffled the football giants like Chelsea and Real Madrid. Goodness me. His name is Endrick Felipe Moreira de Souza, a name that will echo for years to come. However, history does provide a cautionary tale when it comes to wonder kids. Over the past decades, we've witnessed the rise and fall of promising young stars like Curlon, Rubinho, Freddy Adu, and Alexandra Pato, initially presented as the apparent heirs to the legends like Pele and Ronaldo Nazario. These players shone brightly, but proved to be as fleeting as fireworks. Anyway, folks, rest assured Kendrick is different. He's there to stay, just like A to Z football. So please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, because the earlier you subscribe, the faster we'll grow. Kendrick was born in Taguatinga, an administrative region in the federal district of Brazil in extreme poverty. Growing up underprivileged, Endrick didn't have much to do except play, and it was at the age of four when he realised that football was his stronghold. From this time onwards, one thing was clear. This boy had his goal set. He was becoming a football player like his idol, Ronaldo. He was technically blessed as his father, who worked as a janitor at Palmeiras, saw his talent early on and realised that introducing Endrick to a major football club could potentially transform his life. Hence, he took the initiative. He started posting Endrick's football videos on YouTube. Not only this, he even sent the videos to every big club in Brazil. His only wish was to get his son noticed. It was his dream that Endrick could do what he loved, play football. But between all this, Life for the star kid and his family was never easy. This is how Endrick recalled it. I never went hungry, but my parents did. They starved for me. They gave me a lot of strength, but I didn't want to see them do that again. I didn't want to see them in need, give me food and have them go without. Seeing his family struggle, Endrick vowed to work hard and change their lives. See, that's the spirit that has pushed this boy this far. He wasn't pampered. He struggled and climbed his way up to the top. This also sheds light on the fact that no matter how hard the lavish football academies try, they can never produce talent like the streets of Brazil. Well, it is what it is. Hendrik's big break came at the age of 11 as he joined Palmeiras' youth team. This is where he excelled and rose through the ranks. He wasn't just playing football, he was living every goal, practicing like there was no tomorrow and putting in unparalleled efforts. In the next five years, Endrick appeared in 169 games and scored 165 goals. Jeez. But still, the boy wasn't very famous until he played in the Sao Paulo Youth Football Cup, one of the most important and traditional football tournaments in the country, where youth from all over Brazil put their talent on display. Over here, Endrick made all these talented boys look like sixth graders. He was a class apart, well ahead of the competition, and not only did he win Palmeiras their first ever Sao Paulo Youth Football Trophy, he demonstrated unparalleled finesse, earning himself the coveted Best Player of the Tournament award while netting an impressive eight goals in just seven matches. Geez. This stellar performance catapulted Hendrik onto the global stage, garnering recognition for his football brilliance worldwide. Ironically, this wasn't the end. The next year, Hendrik was back to defend his trophy, and this time, he was even stronger. He was the best player in Palmeiras' Brazilian title win, the second National League in a row in his career. With 11 goals, he became the first player under 18 to reach double figures in the Brazilian league, surpassing the great Neymar, who had scored 10 goals back in 2009. So, how does all of this impact Hendrik's introduction to international football? Hendrik is a strong player, and on the field, looks five years older than his age, Apart from a very sturdy frame, he has the combination of pace, stamina, dribbling, and to top it off, great finishing skills. Damn, he's somewhat like Gabriel Jesus, but much better. Jeez. Hendrik's style of play reflects that of a very traditional player. But Hendrik isn't just one player, he's a hybrid. Haha, <laughs> not joking. 
When you combine Mbappe's resilience, Cristiano Ronaldo's gameplay, and Romario's finishing, you get someone as good as Endrick. Goodness me. Unfortunately, in terms of speed, he isn't as fast as Mbappe or Bale, but then he's got one advantage over others. His technique when running at opponents is simple but effective. He keeps the ball close by with his left foot and uses lots of small touches to draw his opponents in. And then when there is space to exploit, he has the pace to take advantage with a bigger touch and a burst of pace. Exactly what Raheem Sterling does. <laughs> in addition to this, his versatility is a useful asset. He can play on the left or right side of a front three, or as a centre forward. No wonder why Real Madrid offered him $70 million, a price tag that makes him the most expensive Brazilian ever to join Las Merengues, eclipsing Galactico legend Kaká, who signed for $67 million. The difference, however, is that Kaká arrived at the Santiago Bernabeu equipped with Supercoppa Italia, Serie A and UEFA Champions League titles, and the 2007 Ballon d'Or. So yeah, for Endrick, things are on a whole new level. In Brazil, he has often drawn comparisons to Neymar. To be honest, it's pretty easy to compare them in terms of goals scored. But if we look into it, Endrick is naturally gifted. And at the age of 17, he's 5 feet 8 with a very strong build and thick bone density in comparison to Neymar, who at this age was very skinny and weak. Like me. Jeez. So even at such a young age, Endrick has been owning the defenders when he's on the field and he doesn't fear the tackles and offence. Because why should he? He's already big and he's already going to get better and stronger until June this year when he makes a very highly anticipated debut at Bernabeu. The hopes are sky high. Despite a recent goal drought at the beginning of the 2023 campaign, Endrick's scoring abilities goes beyond these temporary challenges. His true prowess in front of goal extends beyond mere statistics. I mean, not long ago, at the end of 2022, we saw how consistently he found the corner of the net. There's no reason he can't score at the rate of a classic penalty box striker, despite being so much more than that. So yeah, time and time again, Endrick has shown the world how special he is. For instance, look at this bicycle kick. Jeez. How great was that? Once Hendrik makes his debut, there will be two things to look out for. He isn't winning a Golden Shoe or Ballon d'Or right away. <laughs> but yes, he will be playing against much higher competition in the La Liga and Champions League, which will put his skills to a big test, and it will not be easy. In case he does put up something special, it won't be a surprise. He's already done that a lot of times. So, yes, Hendrik lifting the La Liga trophy or scoring a screamer in an El Clasico can be a reality. Moreover, there's also an update to his debut. He would be playing in a star-studded Real Madrid surrounded by an attack compromising of Vinicius and Rodrigo backed by the likes of Modric and Cruz. This will not only boost his confidence but also unveil his real potential. We hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to dunk on that subscribe button. Until next time, take care.